So this is in Crawford, right? Yeah. In the western region, the Elembele district. Yes. Good. So where are we? We are where Kwame was buried. He was born and buried at the first time before the body was resumed to Accra. Okay. So Kwame Kwame does name for my name is Abet Nyanaba. And his father's name is called Kofi Ngoma. So that is the mother's kitchen. Over here? Yeah, and that is the living room. The living room there. Yeah. And this is where Kwame Kwame was born. And they buried exactly where he was born. You have a reason why Kwame Kwame was buried where he was born. So actually what you are trying to let us uh, understand is the fact that he was born at home. Yeah. Kwame Krumah was born at home like other children who were not born in the hospital. Yeah. Uh, the reason why Kwame Krumah was born at home was because there's no hospital in the clinic. That's why he was born here. Yeah. So okay. I said there was a local midwife. Okay. Mm. So, Kwame Kwame was born on 21st September, 1901. Mm. So, the 21st September, 1901 is not the original date. The original date is 21st September, sorry. The original date is 20, 20, 1927. Sorry. The original date is 21st September, 1992. Mm. But the place we later baptized Kwame Kwame into the Roman Catholic Church because they were there as 21st September, 1901. So when Kwame Kwame realized that the date is not correct, they have used the dates and the name to fill official documents. So he take it like that. So the name in Goloma is not in Goloma, it's in Goloma. In Goloma? Yeah, it's N-G-L-O-M-A, in Goloma. And not in Kuruma? Because the white people, they cannot pronounce in Goloma, and they make it in Kuruma, as the Asante people pronounce their own. Amazing. In Goloma? Yes, in Goloma means nine born child in Nizama. If you give birth to a child on eight uh, born child, it's called Enyameke. Enyameke. And uh, nine born child is called in Goloma. And seven born child is called Asuna. So that's why Nkuma is called in Goloma. So it's supposed to be his uh, first name and not his last name. It's not supposed to be his surname. It is actually in Goloma. Thank so, you. Actually, Kwame is not. Uh, the Kwame too is a mistake. Right. Before Kofi. Kofi Nkrumah. Kofi Nkrumah was born on 21st September 1912. So, 1912 is a Friday born child. But because the priest changed the date, so it's, it became 1909. So, 1909 is Saturday born child. <laughs> the priest has done a lot of <laughs> oh injustice to Nkrumah. Yes. So because they used all the dates and the name to fish of uh, official documents, we cannot change it. So we take it ladder. So 1909 is older than 1912. Mm. So 1912 is uh, 60 years, and 1909 is 63 years. Okay. 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 So on that Saturday, we normally do our funeral on Saturday. So that 21st September 1901, they were doing funeral celebration here. Mm. So the guests were around. So they, those guests, they need to prepare food for them. So the mother have to prepare the food. At that time, to them, uh, the mother was pregnant. So he went to the kitchen and prepared food for the guests, and he went to into labor here. So at first, there's no hospital and clinic. So he wanted to go to the living room and deliver. Uh, as he was going, he deliver where he was buried. Let me open the kitchen. So that it's amazing. Nyaniba Estate in Accra. I now see why the old lady even had an estate to her honor. Right. This is how my Nyaniba's kitchen yeah. is like. So this is the original cooking utensil the mother was using at that time. It was mm. many, but when they come to resume, they put the some of the cooking utensils. Mm. That's a few ones. And this one is for smoking fish. This, this one here. Smoking fish. Mm. So right. this pot is older than this one. When Kwame Kwame was dead, this pot was dead. When Kwame Kwame was born, mm. and this one he bought it for a mother when he was a president. He bought this this pot yeah. for the mother when he became president. Yeah. Wow, that's amazing. So uh, I mean. <laughs> So when they assume, they actually assume the body from here to the mausoleum, yeah. right? Yeah. Okay, and then they took uh, along some of the utensils, okay. the original stuff. Yeah. Okay. 
Uh, my Yaniba, rest in peace. And uh, the interesting thing is that I don't know how many of you remember this type of padlock. It's an original padlock I remember many years ago. Don't know how many of you. If you remember this padlock, then you too, you are of age. Respect. All right, tell me, have you ever seen any padlock like this in modern time? No. Uh, you were born yesterday. <laughs> you were Skyhawk children. <laughs> yes. So he come born, was born here for a reason. When they give birth to a child, they were expecting the child to cry. Mm. But come up, did not show any sign of life when he was born. Mm. It takes too much time before showing the sign of life. So at that time, the father was at the funeral place performing funeral right there. So the, the so happy my male is a bit number thought that Nkuma is dead because he takes too much time before showing the sign of life. Mm. So when they call his father, the father brought drums, sambas, and other instruments to make a sound. So when the Nkuma show a sign of life, he made, when Nkuma show, uh, hear the sound, he will show the sign of life. So Nkuma wasn't showing any sign of life, so they were beating and jotting him about. So they were determined to put his life into Nkuma. So, so Nkuma wasn't showing any sign, sign of life. So they step a banana into his mouth, so that made Kwame Kuma to show the sign of life. So Kwame Kuma ate the banana before showing the sign of life. So when Kwame Kuma grew up and they told the story about what happened during his bedtime, he said whenever he died, they should bury exactly where he was born. It's not all the child that passed through this process. That's why he was buried here. So Kwame died in 1972. So in 1972, the leader of Ghana was Sachan. So I can't come and prepare this place for Kwame Kuma to be buried. So the grave was made in 18 feet down, instead of mass 6 feet. Mm. Because the casket, they have a lot of machine that they used to raise it up for everybody to view the body. So they kept the body here for 16 grades. Mm. So 16 grades, if you add to 72, to make it 8. So they take 88 to the leader of Ghana was J.J. Rons. So J.J. Rons told the family that Kwame was a great man in Ghana, Africa, so he wanted to assume the body. So he promised the family that when they allow him to assume the body, he will give the family money. And the family told him that the money that he wanted to give it to the family, she used to prepare the rules and the hotel here. Yeah. So mm. when the outside people come, they will come here and view the body. Mm. So when they told him that, he became annoyed. He was the one who provided the medicine that they used to preserve the body. Rollins. Yeah, so he stopped bringing the medicine and then he never came back again. So the body was started decomposing. So some of the family agreed that they should allow the Jerons to assume the body because the body became and uh, something said. They won't allow him because when Kwame Kuma grew up, he told the family that whenever he died, they should bury exactly where he was born. So they won't allow him. So 11th November 1988, the Sioux agree. They want to get the warrant secretly and they collect the money. So midnight, and they don't suggest him that they assume the body. So that's why the body is not here. So that's the original cover tomb. That's the pieces one, the cover one, mm. the original tomb. Oh, that's the tomb, the pieces over there, yeah. So this touch will present the last statement he made before he died. That's the last statement he made. He said, as far as I'm concerned, I mean, the knowledge that death can never extinguish the torch which I have lit in Africa. Long after I'm dead and gone, the light will continue to be burned and born alert, giving light and guidance to all people. So that's the last statement he made. Right. Hmm. So over here is actually the original tombstones. These are the original tombstones, right? This is what you see here. The original tombstones of uh, Osajifo, Dr. Kwame Nkrumah. So that was the mother. Nyaniba, ma Nyaniba. Nkuma himself. Wow. So Nkuma was the only child of a mother. The only child? Of a mother. But the father said he was the nine born child. That's what they call Nkuma. So Nkuma was Nyaniba's only child. Yeah. Wow. So Nkuma died five years later before the mother died. Really? Son dies before mother. Yeah. 
children were supposed to bury their parents, not the other way around. Yes. So the mother was buried at the front uh, family house, in the animal house. Okay. So at the roadside, when you see, you see the uh, story building. Okay. So that's where the mother was buried. Mm. And this is where Muhammad lives, when he was a president. When he was the president of Ghana? You see, you see. Anytime you visit me. He comes to Crowfo, he still sleeps here as president of Ghana. That's how humble Dr. Kwame Nkrumah was, right? It's amazing. All the things are here, but when they come to zoom the body, they took, they took some of their things to the Muslim, right? But he sleeps here for exclusive reason. Okay, now he didn't trust people really because they wanted to take his life. W will you say it could be linked to the uh, Kulungugu? Because we were at Kulungugu and then we saw the where they attempted taking his life. All right, so for that reason, each time he's here, even he doesn't want to sleep anywhere else except home yeah. because it's only home he trusts. Yeah. I see. The guys too, they don't know that he was living here. He sneak and sleep. He sneaks to sleep at home. The bodyguards do not even know. Nkrumah is smart. The man is smart. Right. So this is the uh, bed of Sajifu, Dr. Kwame Nkrumah, mm -hmm. even as president. As president. It's, it's really surprising that, you know, this man is, is he's intelligent. He's really intelligent. Wow. Okay. So let's, let's see the other room, what it is like. Wow. Mm -hmm. This is Nyaniba's room. So the bed is not the original bed. It was a straw bed. Straw? Okay, straw mat. Yeah, so because it has feathers, we are using this one to represent the original bed. Okay, so it used to be a straw mat. And but what about Kwame Nkrumah? Uh, the metal one there? Yeah, it's the when Kwame Nkrumah was a president. Okay. But when Nkrumah was a, a, a young, he sleep on mat. On a straw mat. Yes, Good. Mm. So this is the first president of Ghana's uh, house and uh, sleeping place. Mm -hmm. That is humbling. I hope people are learning from this that if somebody uh, could, even as president, remember his roots, not today's generation of leaders that we have that will even take state money to renovate their homes and we do not benefit anything. The people, the ordinary citizen, does not even feel it. So I think there, there are lessons to learn here, and uh, we are really hearing it, you know. Naniba, this is Nkrumah's mother. This is what she looked like, Naniba. If you remember Naniba Estate, if you know Naniba Estate uh, in Accra, Usu area, uh, this is uh, the woman, the famous woman, who gave life to the first president of the Republic of Ghana. And uh, and this is one of the chairs he, they sit on then? Yeah. Right. And you can see Nkrumah, the man with so swag. That's, the, the that, that's what he's one. sitting in. Wow. Empress, I can see you are learning uh, Ghana's history, right? Yes. You're learning so much. Wow, this is amazing. Let's see. So there's a river to there. A river? A mysterious river. Where is that? I hear there is a mysterious river somewhere. A mysterious river. <laughs> Today we are learning. We are learning so much about the first president uh, of the Republic of Ghana and these are uh, his neighbors yeah the neighbors are still here they know so much uh, what's that dummy yeah. in green and white yeah. and a spa <laughs> the man of Ugrofo I believe in you God bless you so you are going to celebrate in Kruma next week in a big star right God bless you guys yeah so so the neighbors are all here uh, Hey, what is happening? Oh no, please, please. No, don't 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 be the child. Don't do that to the child. Well, we so this is in Kuma's neighborhood. And we are now going to the mysterious river that 
we were told about. Um, you can only learn that from here. Uh, there's so much to learn. The mysterious river we are told is here. Wow, this is it. Called Suble. Suble? Uh, Suble means it has enzyme and that is named after the river. Okay, let's go down there and see what it is like. Mm. Empress, let me take up some of your. Uh, your so that I can have some paper. You have only to turn it to the People in Ghana and beyond, 